with Buck Martinez and Hazel May. I'm Dan Schulman here at the Sportsnet Studios in downtown Toronto. The Blue Jays with an 11 to 5 win last night as their magic number to clinch a playoff spot is down to three. The Yankees are trying to catch Minnesota for home field in the first round. The Yankees are the five seed right now as we show you the Yankee lineup presented by TD, proud fan and official bank of the Toronto Blue Jays. Luke Voigt is your major league leader in home runs with 21, and five of them have come against the Blue Jays. Aaron Judge is in the lineup again. John Carlos Stanton is out. That helps to get Clint Frazier back in the lineup for the Yankees. He was not in there last night. Well, we got the same pitching matchup we had in New York on the 16th of September last Wednesday. Tanner Roark against Garrett Cole. Roark making his 10th start of the season, and he's had a rough season. And most of his problems related to his inability to really locate his fastball. He's given up 14 home runs this year, 10 of those on fastballs, including four to the Yankees last time he faced them. He's got to do a better job of locating that fastball. D.J. LeMahieu, the leadoff man, hit two home runs against Tanner in that last outing, including a leadoff home run. And he's just got to do a better job of locating his heater. Take a look at the defense for the Blue Jays as the outfield is intact, except for Randall Gritchick, who is now the D.H. Jonathan Davis is in center field. Hernandez is in right. Gurriel, of course, in left. Bichette and Panic up the middle. Biggio's back at third base. Guerrero's at first base. And Alejandro Kirk catching for a second straight game. This is the first time he will work with Tanner Roark. He has caught Robbie Ray twice, Taiwan Walker, and Matt Shoemaker. And now he's going to get his first opportunity to work with Tanner Roark. And he's studying his matchup sheet. He went down and caught Roark finishing up his warm-up. So he's a little bit comfortable with him. He did a nice job last night with Matt Shoemaker. Did a pretty nice job at the plate as well. Four for four, including a double and a homer. And uh, he is an overnight sensation. Well, has been for the last couple of weeks. People awfully excited to see what Kirk can do for the Blue Jays. Here is DJ LeMayhew hitting 365. Had two more hits last night as Roark starts him with a fastball in for a strike. Look at the OPS over a thousand and Buck he's only struck out 18 times in 180 and a look at the Blue Jay lineup tonight we told you about the changes Shaw was scratched Davis inserted into the lineup Teoscar Hernandez two hits two RBIs in last night's win and hitting 339 with an OPS well over a thousand in Buffalo this year he and Bo Bichette and Vladimir Guerrero actually have all done some excellent work at the plate at Salem Field. Well, they will see Garrett Cole. They saw him last week in New York, and he was very good. Seven innings of pretty effective pitching. He had the Blue Jays to a single run on three hits. This will be his fourth career start against the Blue Jays. For the season, the opponents are hitting 196 against Cole. He's got a great fastball. He will throw a lot of fastballs. He hit 99.4 miles an hour with his fastball the last time he faced the Blue Jays. And he throws a lot of strikes through 95 pitches last time out 67 for strikes yeah other than that there's really nothing to worry no, about tonight we got him right where we want <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Biggio leading it off as always playing third base again drew a